we got most of the way healed. And let's see. Let's check the research, because we're currently reverse engineering, but I think we revealed a bunch more, because, yeah, we took out a bunch of things. Yeah, damage increased on mist sentinels is nice, because if those things get to spread poison too far, it never ends well. And then these give us bonus materials, and we'll come back to the rest of this. Let's get everyone leveled up before we do that Haven defense. More strength. That will help you carry a little bit more. And it also does increase your health. And I believe it also increases melee damage and grenade throw range. And looking at... Okay, I think we need to manufacture some more ammo for you. Because now everyone's going to start carrying spare ammo again. We will only take ammo off on scavenging missions like that because we need the inventory space. Return fire! Now both of our assaults can do that, even the unnamed one. Honestly, close quarters specialist would almost make sense after that last one. I think after she saves up some SP, I'll go ahead and do that because I believe gun bashing does count. All right, here's your spare ammo clip. Take another point in strength. And lazy. Take your spare ammo clips. And you leveled up. So now you take quick aim. And quick aim will let you spend three will to reduce the action points of your next shot. And if you're using that with a pistol, it can actually make pistol shots free in terms of action points, which can occasionally save your butt. We don't have shotguns yet. It will be a while before we have them. You have to wait a surprisingly long time to get to them in this game. Uh, but once we get shotguns, I'll take that. And then you will have a handgun, a sniper rifle, and a shotgun. That should let you deal with a pretty wide variety of situations. The handgun is still worth it at that point because... You can make Overwatch, Overwatch is free, and you can make standard shots with it free if you've spent will. Like, it still has worth, although I probably won't carry the extra clip for it at that point, just to try to save on weight. And now that you have an ability that's going to just chew through will if we need to use it, have another point of that. And there we go. Just double checking that I equipped everybody with their ammo. Yes, I did. And you guys are missing, like, a few points of health apiece. I'm sure you'll be fine. Let's go defend that haven. And now we can manufacture potentially a better assault rifle. The more the disciples of Anu invest into this mutation tech, the further away they will move from what New Jericho considers humanity. This is not a threat, but a statement. But it was a threatening statement. There is still time to look to reason, not superstition, for solutions. To seek answers in human will, instead of submission to the alien. But that time is running out. Manufacturing. I can try to be friends with all the factions, but I can't make the factions like each other. Not a whole lot I can do there, as far as I know. So the Ares Assault Rifle, which is what we're currently using. Damage of 30, Shred of 1, Burst of 6. Effective range of 25, Ammo Capacity 36, Weight of 3. Hands to use is going to be the same, so I'm not going to bother with that. Bulldog. Damage of 40, but a Burst of 4. So 30 times 6, if you assume everything hits. 30 times 6 would be... 180 and 40 times 4 is going to be 160. However, that's going to punch through armor better because it's more damage per bullet 
and it has a shred of two versus a shred of one. So against armored targets, that is going to be much, much better. Its ammo capacity is also slightly lower, but since it's using fewer per burst, this is going to get six bursts, I think. Yeah, six bursts. This is going to get like seven bursts. So it is slightly more ammo efficient, slightly low damage per burst if you assume everything hits, but better against armor. And you run into a lot of really armored enemies later. Like the Ares will serve us well for now, but later on the Bulldog I think will be just hands down better. And if we look at the ammo cost, it's only slightly higher than the Ares magazine. So I think that would be a pretty solid upgrade, especially when you're dealing with armored targets, which like I said, we will be pretty shortly. So that was a pretty lucky drop to be able to get one of those. So if we look at manufacturing, we may as well manufacture a couple of bulldogs and swap over to those once they're done. Because like I said, the big thing that sets it apart is that the shred is doubled. Yep, we're gonna go help this haven. Civilian rescue, very, very similar to just a terror mission in XCOM. Go get the civilians and get them out and kill all of the Pandorans that are here. On my way. So yeah, there are also some Disciples of Anu warriors here that will also be trying to help. And no, we are not evacuating. We're trying to move and it's gonna ask us that again. But yeah, just, that's just happens to be where I want you to move. Oh, there is a Fidian tried on, you know what I mean, over there. Probably use your free Overwatch, but I may actually have you move out of cover first. Because Overwatch, they don't do the sidestep that they do when they step out to shoot. And that can mean that Overwatch doesn't work so well when you're in full cover. Oh, dang it. I didn't see the pole before I moved. And now we have a problem. <sighs> Yeah, it's blocking it, so I don't think it's something we can shoot through. Yeah, that was deeply irritating. Well, I was going to have Serana go follow up on that thing, but because of that dang pole that I just didn't notice, didn't think would be a problem, 
That's the one downside to how this game handles shooting is sometimes just small things in the environment. You don't even see it until you're in the soldier's first person view and that's like, well, crap. Let's do your Overwatch if it runs in about that close. Play sure. I'm just gonna have you move out of the evac zone just so the game quits bugging me about it. I think Glacier's going to be able to get in a position to hit anyone with anything except maybe a melee attack. Which is what you're going to do. Try for a lucky shot. Nice. And if it doubles back this way, feel free to go for it. Sprinting to Grab those two civilians. Moving to position. So we can tell them to evac and then keep moving towards where the fight is. Civilians, please progress towards the evac. More. There are more civilians over here. That's a fighter. The AI can control them well enough. If he was like down here where I could easily grab him, I would, but I'm more focused on getting to the civilians, so. Okay, so we got more disciples of Alnu fighting something over there. Nice shot. Unfortunately, wasn't enough to kill it, so... Ow. Ah! Okay. Taking aim. Shoot that one. Very nice. Good job, Lazy. And probably just start running, but we'll see. Glacier. Yeah, we need to just get you as far as we can in that direction. Yep, shotguns, we know what they are. We know what they do. Easy, you're just gonna do your best to book it in that direction. Don't know that you can get in a position to shoot at anything this turn, Westfall. You're probably just gonna have to move. Which is what you're gonna do. Oh saw more civilians as you ran past that building 
might have lazy detour and get them next turn. There's the civilian. Let's run you back past that disciple of Anu. He can protect you if anything shows up, hopefully. You can run in and grab them. That was the Disciples of Honor's Assault that was fighting in there. Ah! And that thing has managed to get all of its health back. Which is irritating. Ah! Yep, sorry about that, but we've been rushing in that direction as fast as we can go. Okay, you grab the other civilian. Then you're going to go in this direction. And yeah, you can't quite see it from there, so keep going. Gotta be quick. You're gonna keep working your way out. Lazy. Yeah, you're gonna have to take a second to just go get them. Holding position. I'm going. See if we get a bit lucky with this. Pretty nice. Acquiring target. That's not gonna be a great shot. Let's put you here. go with the drop on top of it and hit it in the head. to keep all the civilians alive and only one of the defenders died and they were in the far corner of the map i don't think there was any way we could get to them much faster than we did Now we know the location of the Pandora nest. You will always learn the location of the nest if the nest is within the scanning radius of one of your bases. Otherwise, there's an increasing chance you'll figure it out the more times they attack a haven. Once a nest has been revealed, you need to deal with it in a reasonable time frame or the other factions start to get mad at you because you're not doing your job. And I think we're in good enough shape to just jump right into that. The initial nests usually aren't too bad. Phoenix, if you are receiving this message, then respond on the secure channel I have provided. 
It is essential that the information I am about to give you is kept confidential. My name is not important now, but I am known among the pure as Subject 24, the 24th volunteer in a program set up by Tobias West that gave us hope. We had a solution. A solution? A secret program that would fix the world. And in the final moment, he backed down. Nothing prepared me for his treachery, his selfish cowardice. But his attempts to erase us have failed. Failed. It was known as Project Purity. One man's dream of replacing every inch of human flesh with neurally controlled prosthetics. When I volunteered for the project, I had nothing left. My entire family, entire family, had succumbed to the Pandora virus. I watched my wife through bulletproof glass as she slowly turned into an abomination. Abominations! They're everywhere, waiting, watching. I had nothing left to lose. Along with many other brave men and women, I put myself forward. A lot was sacrificed. He pushed us to the limit. Dozens of us died or were left crippled, and we came close to success. The Juggernaut Warrior was the final design. More than a soldier, more than a human. With titanium skin impervious to infection, perfectly pure. Pure! Pure as a smile in winter as a human should be. There were problems. Total encapsulation created some. Mental instability, hallucinations, and dreams. Not everyone could take it, but there was no shortage of volunteers to take the program forwards. And then, Tobias West, the coward, the traitor, the small-minded charlatan, pulled the plug. Terrified of what he couldn't understand, the great leader ordered everyone involved with the project killed. Killed! Maybe he thought if he buried us, he'd bury the truth of his shame along with us. His shame! But we fought back. I and several others managed to escape. For years we remained silent, hiding, running, waiting for the right moment. The right moment. And that moment has come. Has come! Facing a losing battle against the Pandora virus, the weak-minded West has reactivated the old Project Purity facilities, and that makes him vulnerable. Phoenix, I am offering you an exchange. I know the location of the facility and how to get in. You have the firepower. The power! Hailstorms of fire and acid. Raid the lab and share the tech with us. All this time in hiding has left us damaged and in need of urgent repairs. If you succeed, we will both gain. Humanity will gain. We are the pure. The pure! We are the future. Help us, Phoenix. Help our species. So on one hand, you seem unhinged. On the other, I'm curious as to what Tobias West was doing. So I'm going to do the probably stupid thing and help you. And all of that text is basically just summing up what was already in there. Neural tech we've been hearing about. It sounds like a pretty cool technology, really, but has anyone thought about how easily it could be abused by, uh, I don't know, an autocratic leader with delusions of grandeur? Yeah, I would say of these options, it is a worrying possibility. It is, isn't it? Sometimes I miss the days when such questions were just science fiction. But I guess sooner or later the future arrives and then you have to deal with it. Yeah, New Jericho is probably not going to be a big fan of me after all of this, but relations won't really break down unless we go all the way to negative 75. I think up to that point it is recoverable, so we should be fine. Oh, we got a freaking iconoclast from someone on that defense. Yes, please. Reverse engineer that shotgun. Then we will have shotguns. In fact, move that. I wouldn't have said to the top of the queue, but I guess it goes to the top of the queue. Alright. 
So, as we were, let's take out that nest first. And make sure that everyone has all of their stuff and is fully leveled up. Yeah, plus two to willpower and more perception. It doesn't show up there, but the soldier does have it, so. And then probably take Warcry next, because it is kind of situational, but when you need to lock enemies down a bit, it can be a lifesaver. So we'll take that once you get enough SP saved up. I know I could dip into the communal pool, but I really only like to do that if you only need, like, up to maybe four points. You would need 12. So, gonna hold off on that till you gain a bit more SP. Let's see you. We're actually probably going to get shotguns soon, so I think I'm going to go ahead and take that for you so you can use that Iconoclast better when we get it. And again, you only had to use a few points to get to that. You had quite a bit of SP banked. Westfall. You do not have nearly enough SP to try to get to Cautious right now. And I think I'm actually just going to boost your strength again, because Cautious can be useful, and I'm probably eventually going to take it, but it does have that trade-off on damage, so not going to bother. I'm not... It's not a super high priority. Let's give you some more willpower, get you at least into the double digits. And Lazy, who is going to be saving up so that he can also take Close Quarters Specialist and have a shotgun shortly. That Iconoclast was a pretty lucky drop. That's going to let us get a shotgun way sooner than we normally could. And we're going to have to keep an eye on Lazy because he is kind of wounded. Locate and kill the hatching sentinels. There will usually be more than one. Be careful when approaching a sentinel. It will trigger a mass hatching unless you kill it in one turn. Try not to split your squad too much. Vehicles can be effective in nests. Eggs may contain worms or mind fraggers. If you enter its trigger zone, three tiles, it will hatch on the next turn. Hatching sentinels may mass hatch eggs in a wide area. And the sentinels, I've had them trigger through walls and stuff before. It can be slightly irritating. Well, we found an enemy off the bat. Let's see what we can do about that. Moving now. Targeting. All right, then you're gonna just step to the side so someone else can maybe get there. Zooming in. Okay, lazy. I'm going. Might need to have our other assault move first, but if she did, what's your shot looking like? Oh, no, it looks like you can shoot over her shoulder just fine. There you go. Repositioning. That's a map edge, so we're going to go through this tunnel. Okay, Glacier, you're kind of blocking the tunnel, so you're going to have to move first. And I think in order to move far enough for everyone else to get through, you're gonna have to not shoot this time. Enemy contact. Okay, that's just an egg. We can deal with that. That's fine. Hunter. 
on my way. You moved there. Confirming target. If we hit the pincer, it'll be too armored. So let's try to go for kind of just the core. Enemy there you go. position. Okay, I think Westfall's movement is going to get slightly cut off, but not too much. Yeah, you had like all of two or three tiles left. It's fine. On the move. Be right there. Repositioning. Trying to see if there's on my way. There, there is more. Still not seeing any of the hatching sentinels yet. did find another enemy. Shame that Glacier can't get just a little bit further. Moving to position. Ready to fire. Might have put it within range for the pistol to deal with it. Assuming that... Unfortunately, we're going to use another action point just to get you into a good spot. Oh, there's another one. Identifying target. Alright, just shoot it from where you're at. This is when we use free shots. Ready to fire. Then you're gonna dump back a little bit. And Overwatch. Overwatcher. Hey, Glacier. You're gonna come around to there. Yeah, that'll do for now. Well, we can go a little further. I hit the pincer. Ow! Maybe we just use the med kit on Lazy at this point. He keeps getting <laughs> of all the people to constantly get hit in melee. Why is it constantly the sniper? Are you okay? Put one down. There we go. And there's something else over there. I saw the will points go down and now I see a health bar. So we'll go figure out what that is. Looks like this just loops around. I'm on the move. All right, we're probably going to want to go through this area, so uh that's not going to do enough damage in one go. Rolling. Okay, that's another egg there, which is probably another one we're gonna have to deal with. Let's blast them. Alright, I think that was enough damage that the 
Sniper rifle will take care of that. see again. Maybe we just give you another medkit. <laughs> Maybe I quit putting you in the front, but that free overwatch with the pistol makes it so tempting. On my way. Alright, we found one of the hatching sentinels. So you are going to stay put until more of us are ready to go around that corner and shoot it so we can all shoot it at the same time. Ready to fire. One less to worry about. Let's see, you're missing a little over 60 health. Okay, you could get you could get hit again and then use a med kit. That's fine. We are not going to go all the way around the corner. I'm gonna try to hug this wall and we're gonna hope that that's good enough to not cause it to start hatching. Sentinels can occasionally be weird and have weird behavior through walls. And yeah, the jump jets don't work super well in the cave. My guess is that the roof is too low. We might be able to shoot it from over here, but there might also be other stuff over there. So I think I'm just gonna go for the area that, ah, oh, crap. Remember when I said to have weird behavior through walls? Yep. It gets really annoying. You don't even see the sentinel sometimes. If we'd just been walking down this hall, it would have just triggered. <sighs> well, no point in waiting now. There's gonna be a mass hatch and there's not jack we can do about it. The worm's only goal is to reach their target and explode, dealing damage to everything around. Try to kill them before they get close. Yeah. Why didn't you show that on the mission where there were a bunch of those? Okay, Westfall, just deal with that thing. I think we're aiming at it. Targeting. Frickin' grass. Took one down. There. Got them. Okay, got the hatching sentinel. And like that egg was too far away, so that should give you guys a pretty good indication of its range. So the other hatching sentinel is probably somewhere in here. Because we've explored most of the rest of the map at this point. Yeah. Advance it. Advancing. Yep, there's another worm. Identifying target. It's your nemesis, Lazy. Continues to be your nemesis. So accurate against most other things, but switching ammo. Sprinting to position. Westfall. Got one of 
of those things coming in, but we could just let it pursue us. There you go. Sentinel. On the move. Nothing behind us in that tunnel. That's good. I know there's still a Triton. Triton. Weird life leeching thing over there. Sprinting to position. Okay. End your turn so that we can all just shoot it at once. position where you could hit something with a pistol but not with your sniper rifle apparently. Ooh, identify I could target her. There we go. Reloading. Zooming in. Hostile neutralized. And now the mission will end successfully. That's why I wasn't too worried about that thing. Usually in these early nests, there's only two hatching sentinels, so... And everyone likes us a little bit more. A mysterious being known as the Apostle to the Once Born, a servant of the Exalted, has passed by our base, leaving the following message. What is the nature of a human being? Can we change? Is the fault in our souls where it may never be reached? Or is it in these broken bodies of ours? Perhaps the Phoenix Project can be a vessel of change. It is not up to this humble Apostle to make such a decision, but I wish you well. May your actions please the Keeper of the Threshold. He will seek you out when you have shown your worth. Looks like we've started working our way up the hierarchy of the Disciples. Okay. And obviously, we have even more research. Yeah. Damage on hatching sentinels. Check on everyone. Poor lazy. Just keeps getting hit. Right, 
we're gonna leave it and let you take a work right now. And you're gonna take another point in strength. And yeah, I'd honestly rather you have more attribute points. And we're not going to be picking a new class for a while because we will eventually be able to unlock way more options than you guys would have to pick from right now. And I want to have an opportunity to see what other classes can do before deciding what you all are going to have. So you are going to pick up some more willpower. That should be a pretty good amount to have until you actually get things that require you to burn willpower more often. And another point in strength. You are going to take healer. 30% bonus healing and plus 2 willpower. Seems fitting at this point. And you are going to take even more strength, because if you're going to keep getting hit, then you'd better have enough health to make it not too much of a problem. Okay, I think there's still another yeah, there's still another scavenging thing we need to clear too that I'd really like to get to before we start running into a bunch of tougher enemies. However, everyone kinda needs a break and lazy needs to heal. <laughs> 